Hey, what's up everybody? So it's Alex here from Bass Bites Fishing. Um, I'm out here snakehead fishing. My first outing of the year. Might be a little early to do some snakehead fishing. But in today's video, I'm gonna go over um, how to find snakehead spots. How to find the best snakehead spots, that is. So basically what I'm gonna go over is what to look for in your spots. Um, what kind of structure and cover is snakehead like and uh, how finding these spots can enhance your chances at catching more snakehead or bigger snakehead. So we're gonna go over that right now. My spot back there is a pretty popular snakehead spot. If you know about it, then great, but it's kind of my, I'd say secret, but it's pretty well known. Um, basically it just runs right off this river. So if you're gonna be fishing a river, um, I'd recommend rivers like the Patapsco, the Patuxent, things like that. Um, you're gonna go to your river right here. And basically what I do is I go on Google Maps and you're gonna search for these little pools that go off of the river right here. So you can see the river is flowing right out there. You got a little sandbar right there. You got this pool right here. I've caught a few snakehead out of here, but what I'm gonna talk about is this bigger pool back here. So if we're gonna walk right over here. We have almost this pond like thing, not really affected by the, the river's movement. It, uh, it's pretty standstill here. Um, which snakehead like. They like still water. They don't like a lot of moving water. I have caught some in the, in the main river, but they preferably like this still water right here. So this is what you're gonna wanna look for on Google Maps. You're gonna wanna look for your river system and you're gonna wanna look for these little pools or pond-like things out on the side of the river. And that's where you're gonna find most of these snakehead. You're also gonna find a lot of other fish here there's a lot of bass back here, a lot of crappie, a lot of bluegill. All these fish love pools because it gives them a break from the main river, swimming in the main river. Think about it. If you're running a marathon or whatever, you're, you're just running, you want a break. Sit down, take a seat on the bench. This is pretty much what that is. Little analogy there. But um, that's what you're going to want to look for. All right, guys. So you found your pool on Google Maps. Now what you're going to look for is your cover that snakehead loves. So back here we've got tons of sticks, we've got laydowns, we got rocks as you can see, and it's nice and deep back here. The snakehead love these sticks. They also love lily pads, grass, things like that. Just anywhere where they can post up and kind of hide, hide themselves and ambush prey. They are ambush predators, so they will be waiting for all these fish to swim by so they can come and grab them. So what you're going to look for is these sticks, these logs, these uh, lily pads, things like that. Pretty much the same as a basswood and um deeper shallow they don't mind but they love the snag stagnant water the still water so make sure to look for that so now you're probably like what do i do next what do i do to catch these big snakehead back at this new spot i found well get yourself a pair of polarized sunglasses a lot of times in these little pools when it's a sunny day out the snakehead are actually going to come up to the surface and they're going to be pretty easy to see especially if you have these polarized sunglasses um, it'll help you distinguish if it's actually a fish and not a stick and uh, you'll be able to see them for a longer time even in the shade sometimes so you can get a pinpoint cast and uh, get them to follow up your bait sight fishing for snakehead in this spot is probably the main way i do it um, just because it is so easy and so fun um, so i highly recommend getting a pair of polarized sunglasses if you're going to be fishing your new poolside river spot now what you're going to want to do is watch my snakehead tips uh, lure tip video. So I made that a couple weeks ago. Um, I'll link it in the description. You guys can click on that. You can watch that video and apply those tips that I told you to your new spot. So that's going to be it for this short, quick video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll be making two videos per week because of the quarantine thing. So the next video will be an actual fishing video, not a tip video. Stay tuned. Snakehead season is upon us. The bass spawn is upon us. It's a great time for fishing coming up soon. And uh, the weather's getting nicer. So make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on Bass Bites Fishing. Hopefully these tips helped you. Bye, guys.